So a little bit warmer, but still wet. And the ground is so wet everywhere, it isn't it? Absolutely, is Sal. It's really saturated at the yeah. moment. This extra rain is not welcome. Carol, thank you. That has been causing problems, hasn't it? It really has. Wet weather in parts of the UK is set to continue, as uh, Carol tells us. And this comes as many of us still counting the cost of disruption over the last 48 hours. This was the scene in Exmouth, where the foundations of a Coast Guard lookout station gave way because of high tides. The station manager said the building is now probably going to have to be condemned. That's Devon. Uh, Easter holiday makers at this caravan park in West Sussex have also been hit by the floods. Look, at that's not the Easter holiday you want to go on the no. weekends, is it? Uh, cars, caravans partially submerged. About eight to 180 people had to be evacuated. Further north, the River Tyne overflowed along part of Newcastle's quayside. With makeshift flood defences being put in place to try and stem the flow of the water. Look at that. The high water levels also left cars stranded outside a ferry terminal on the Isle of Wight and not far away. Yeah, the Hampshire coast was another area badly affected by high tides and rainfall. Our reporter Alexis Green is in Milford-on-Sea for us this morning. Morning, Alexis, and people still assessing the damage there. And that's right, Sally, yes. Uh, we're here at um, Hordle Cliff in Milford-on-Sea, where it's fairly quiet at the moment. There is a bit of a breeze blowing. Saw a few swimmers pop into the sea earlier, but they wouldn't have done that yesterday morning because there is actually evidence here of a storm surge which occurred during the early hours of yesterday morning. Now, a storm surge is a combination of strong winds, in this case, gusts of up to 65 miles per hour and high tides. The low pressure system that affected us was named as Storm Perique by Meteo France. There were record high tides along the south coast, causing an extra half a metre on top of the already high spring tides. Areas in Hampshire were affected, but the worst area was West Sussex. One person was taken to hospital and 180 people evacuated from Medmurray Caravan Park. The River Arran burst its banks in Littlehampton, as our reporter Michelle Cross reports. It was supposed to be a dream Easter getaway for these two families who arrived at Medbury Caravan Park, but it quickly turned to drama. The most surreal moment I can think, I can imagine. Seawall is flooded, cars are floating, we're evacuating the park. I put my foot on the floor and there was a, an inch or two of water. And I looked at the corner of the room and there was water gushing in. It's all right, it's okay. It's okay, you've done really well, good boy. It left the two couples carrying their five children through waist height water to safety. Well, I got it. The first I knew about it was our two year old baby crying in his cot um, because he was being swamped by the water coming in. And we came up with a very quick plan to throw some stuff in a bag and take. Uh, and to get out of there, really. And when we opened the door, you know, the water then was a, another couple of inches higher and the water flooded in and we knew that we needed to find an exit route pretty quickly. Both families were among 180 people evacuated here. We did have a flood back in 2012, um, which was quite similar to this. Uh, and the, combin oh, the, the difference, I think, with this one is we didn't have any rain. It is literally all the seawater that's come in over the, over the stones. Um, due to the high tide and the wind that was behind the tide that's caused us all the problems. Derek and his wife Brenda, who've been coming down here for 65 years. Just water, water everywhere. It's almost up to the bottom of caravans. And that's the bad time because once they're wet, they're, they're written off really. And because of the past history, a lot of people haven't got any uh, cover for flood damage on their caravans and we're in that category, so we just hope it's not going to get any worse. Not quite the magical trip planned for many, but a memorable one for those rescued. Yeah, a few stories, uh, a few pub stories for this afterwards, for sure. Um, but yeah. yeah. One we won't forget. Yeah. yeah that's for sure. Well, there are still an high tides across the south through the course of the day. That's spring tides, gusts of 30 to 40 miles per hour. But the winds won't be as strong as they were during the early hours of yesterday morning. Now, homes in Hampshire were flooded. There were 50 call-outs to Hampshire Fire and Rescue. 
flooding in Cowles, Hailing Island, Gosport and also in Portsmouth affecting homes and businesses. The clean-up operation is underway and as in Michelle Cross's report you heard in West Sussex was the worst affected area. West Sussex Council are waiting for the waters to recede before they can let people safely return to their homes and businesses. And the Environment Agency need to check um, the flood defences to see if they're safe also before people can return. But for holidaymakers, it may be the end of their Easter holidays. Now, for the country, there are a number of flood warnings right across the country. But the Met Office rain and wind warnings for the for the England and Wales have expired, but there's still a rain warning in force for western parts of Scotland. Now, these types of storms, the one we experienced the night before last, will become more frequent and also more intense in the coming years with climate change. Back to you, John and Sally, in the studio.